The following is a timeline of the history of feminism. It should contain events within the ideologies and philosophies of feminism. It should not contain material about changes in women's legal rights. See also, Timeline of women's legal rights other than voting, Timeline of women's suffrage and women's suffrage. Timeline of feminism 1848–1920 First wave feminism was a period of feminist activity and thought that occurred within the 19th and early 20th century throughout the world. It focused on legal issues, primarily on gaining women's suffrage the right to vote point one nine six zero s one nine six three. The Feminine Mystique was published. It is a book written by Betty Friedan which is widely credited with starting the beginning of second-wave feminism in the United States. Second-wave feminism was a period of feminist activity and thought that began in the early 1960s in the United States, and spread throughout the Western world and beyond. In the United States the movement lasted through the early 1980s. Black feminism became popular because of the exclusion from the civil rights movement and the feminist movement. Radical feminism emerged in the United States. 1967, The Discontent of Women, by Joke Kuhl Schmitz, was published. The publication of this essay is often regarded as the start of second wave feminism in the Netherlands. In this essay, Smith describes the frustration of married women, saying they are fed up being solely mothers and housewives. 1969, Chicana feminism, also called Exiconisma, is a socio-political movement in the United States that analyzes the historical, cultural, spiritual, educational, and economic intersections of Mexican-American women that identify as Chicana. The 1969 Chicano Youth Liberation Conference began the Chicano movement and eventually, Mecca. At the conference, women began to get involved in the male-dominated dialogue to address feminist concerns. After the conference, women returned to their communities as activists and thus began the Chicana feminist movement. 1970 In the 1970s, French feminist theorists approached feminism with the concept of écriture feminine, which translates as female, or feminine writing. 1980 The radical lesbian movement is a francophone lesbian movement roughly analogous to English language lesbian separatism. Inspired by the writings of philosopher Monique Wittig, the movement originated in France in the early 1980s, spreading soon after to the Canadian province of Quebec. In Turkey and Israel, second-wave feminism began in the 1980s. Difference feminism was developed by feminists in the 1980s, in part as a reaction to popular liberal feminism also known as equality feminism which emphasizes the similarities between women and men in order to argue for equal treatment for women. Difference feminism, although it is still aimed at equality between men and women, emphasizes the differences between men and women and argues that identicality or sameness are not necessary in order for men and women, and masculine and feminine values, to be treated equally. Liberal feminism aims to make society and law gender neutral, since it sees recognition of gender difference as a barrier to rights and participation within liberal democracy, while difference feminism holds that gender neutrality harms women whether by impelling them to imitate men, by depriving society of their distinctive contributions, or by letting them participate in society only on terms that favor men." Equity feminism, also stylized equity feminism is a form of liberal feminism discussed since the 1980s, specifically a kind of classical liberal feminism and libertarian feminism. 1990s Third wave feminism is associated with the emergence of Riot GRRRL, the feminist punk subculture, in the early 1990s in Olympia, Washington. In 1991 Anita Hill testified in Washington, D.C. to an all-male, all-white Senate Judiciary Committee that Clarence Thomas, nominated for the Supreme Court of the United States, had sexually harassed her. Rebecca Walker responded to Thomas's appointment with an article in Ms. Magazine, Becoming the Third Wave, 1992, which coined the term Third Wave. Do not vote for them unless they work for us. Do not have sex with them, do not break bread with them, do not nurture them if they don't prioritize our freedom to control our bodies and our lives. I am not a post-feminism feminist. I am the third wave. The third wave focused on abolishing gender role stereotypes and expanding feminism to include women of all races, classes and cultures. 2010's fourth wave feminism began around 2012 and is associated with the use of social media. 
Key issues include the fight against street and workplace harassment, campus sexual assault and rape culture. See also Timeline of feminism in the United States <laughs>